So today I want to have a chat with you around boundaries, I guess, and how this relates to looking after your health for whatever stage of womanhood that you're currently at, and how it actually relates to a major IT problem that I had last week. So I'm having my website redesigned, and as part of that it needs, I don't even know what the right word is, but it needs putting somewhere where it can work and, and you can see it. And um, so I, I asked the chap who'd done the, the redesign, can you do that for me? And he went, yeah, that's fine, leave it with me. And it turned out that actually that was beyond his zone of genius. And as a result, I lost complete access to my emails. We managed to fudge together a way around so that I could sort of work and that lasted for a few days, but it led to a very stressful week and a half for me where I couldn't access that. And in the end, I had to go to an expert, um, paid them extra and just said, please, can you fix this? And they did. And literally within a quarter of an hour, it didn't take them long at all, but like that everything was back I was able to send I was able to receive emails I've never been so happy to hear the ping of an email coming in or because the person should have said in rather than trying to be helpful trying to um, do everything for me which which is is great but should have actually said no I can't do that for you you need to find somebody who does this and give me the, the right steer. And this is also important when it comes to training women through particular stages of their life. And I'm talking explicitly here about the postnatal period, about menopausal transitions, and specifically pelvic floor issues. So if you're if you go to your coach and maybe maybe you're doing some physical exercise and you notice a heaviness or a dragging through your pelvis, maybe it feels like you're bulging, or you encounter some leakage, maybe you feel too embarrassed to even talk about that with your coach. So you just avoid the conversation. Or maybe you tell them and they kind of brush it off or say, oh yeah, yeah, we'll do something for that, but you're not getting that warm, fuzzy feeling that makes you feel confident you're taking positive, proactive uh, steps to deal with it rather than just cover it up and move on. Similarly, in that transition to and through menopause, there can be a huge amount of change that happens in the way we think about things, the way we approach things, the amount we want to move, and how that all makes us feel. So again, if you're working with a coach, either physically or on the nutrition side of things or around your mindset, and they don't have the experience, the knowledge, even the qualifications to support you with that, don't settle for a fudge. And this is particularly true in that postnatal period as well. Your coach may have been fabulous in the run up to getting pregnant. Maybe they helped you do something physical that you never thought possible before, maybe they helped you to lose loads of weight, maybe they just really restored your confidence. These are all really fantastic things. When it comes to pregnancy, to that postnatal period, you need somebody who understands the physiological changes in your body, how that affects your mind, your thoughts, and the pressures on your time as well, and can support you through that. And that's not to say that you necessarily have to completely ditch your coach and go with someone else. I certainly work with a number of coaches where I'm a, I'm a kind of a bolt-on. So we have three-way discussions um, to support that lady through whatever transition she's going through, whether it is due to menopause, whether it is because she's post or whether she's having some core or pelvic floor issues of any description, we work together as a team. But the important thing is that those coaches have dialed in that knowledge and experience to really support their clients rather than shoving it under a carpet or fudging over it. At the end of the day, as coaches, we want what is absolutely best for you. So sometimes there's the um, the wish to want to be everything that you need. But actually recognising our boundaries is really, really important and we can serve our clients best in that way. I certainly do this 
particularly for, for a lot of the clients that I work with uh, when it comes to concerns around their pelvic floor, I refer out to a female health physio and provide guidance there in terms of how to find a female health physio, what to expect when they see that female health physio as well. Also working with other therapists that my clients uh, may be working with as well. So that might be chiropractors, osteos, physiotherapists, so musculoskeletal physiotherapists. And I always try and close the link there so that I can talk to those therapists to get a, a full view on what the other person is doing with that client. So we get a 3D approach for the client. So if you are someone who is going through any of these transitional stages of womanhood and you're currently working with a coach, ask the questions. You know you better than anyone else ever will. And it's really important you feel strong and confident in the approaches that you are taking. You can ask your coach if they're able to uh, get additional resources or support to help you as part of this journey, whether that's through menopause, postnatally, or with any concerns around your pelvic floor. You could approach a coach such as myself directly to ask those questions. And again, if you're already working with a coach, as I've already said, I'll try and tie that up. But equally, if you are a coach yourself and you are serving women, I do understand it can feel scary that almost if you refer to someone else, you might lose that client and I want, really want to reassure you on that because what you do by saying to your client this is beyond my zone of genius but I know somebody who really can specialize and support you with this let's work with it as a team that actually that builds a huge amount of trust with that client and yes they will hopefully use those specialist support services as they go through that transition along with your own and it will build a much stronger long-term relationship as well so whether you are a woman going through these transitions yourself or you're a coach working with women that are going through these transitions never be afraid to ask for additional help and if there are any of these aspects so menopause postnatal or any pelvic floor concerns at all that you would like more information on, then please drop a comment below, drop me a direct message, get in touch and let's have a conversation.